Today we are going to talk about the differences between Mark IV furling versus ESP furling, the differences, the similarities, and the benefits of both. Hi, I'm Rick Wilford of Harkin. I have been here at Harkin for 17 years and a member of the Harkin Tech team. Today Harkin currently makes two different versions of furling. We make our ESP furling, which stands for Elegant Simple Products. We also make our performance line, which we refer to as Mark IV. Both furlers offer several similarities as far as the quality bearing material, along with some big differences, um, some of them being the independent swivels, both at the tack and head of the sail, whereas the ESP does not offer that. One of the, another one of the big differences is the price difference. So whether you're a cruiser or a racer, we offer furlers for both options. Our current line of performance furling is what we refer to as Mark IV. First vintage, which, which came out in 1984, was started with a Mark I. No matter where you walk up and down the docks at any marina, you'll still see lots of Mark I furlers, as well as Mark II furlers, and Mark III furlers. Harkin came out with the Mark IV line of furling in 2006. The biggest difference between this Mark IV furling that we are currently making, as well as all the predecessors, would have been that the old furling had a built-in turnbuckle. Mark IV provides a standard turnbuckle body, which is much easier for adjusting head state tension. Harkin came out with the ESP furling in the fall of 2012. We've been putting it on a lot of boats. Through our testing process, we've found it to be a very robust and durable unit. Both ESP and Mark IV furlers are very equal as far as durability goes. Both furlers come with a seven year warranty we can service most furlers dating all the way back to the first furlers Harkin had, dating back to 1984. The ESP is a simpler product due to the round foil design. It provides a much smoother furl. That's going to be geared towards the person who's going to be doing mainly cruising. They're not going to be doing any type of head sail changes, um, which is why it just offers a single groove foil. They're going to have one sail, and that's the sail that they're going to put up and use all the time. Another benefit of the ESP furling is its simple design and leg kit. As you can see, with the long leg kit, you can fit right over an existing turnbuckle. With the short leg kit, which is going to keep the drum lower to the deck, a turnbuckle is not available. So what is used in that situation is on both ends of the headstay, it's just a swaged on eye with a fixed headstay length, no adjustability as far as the headstay length goes. So the Mark IV offers many features, including the double groove foil system, the aerodynamic shape, lighter in weight, um, it also offers the independent swivels both at the tack and head of the sail for better uh, sail shape while furled. It also offers the, the easy removal of the drum as well as the guards, um, which will allow you to increase the loft length of the sail while racing. So what I'm doing here is the conversion of the Mark IV to race mode. Simply remove the two screws on the bottom of the unit, which will remove the guard assembly. Just removal of these six screws allows the furler to be c converted from a Mark IV with furling capabilities into race mode. Once you get it to this point, then the next step would just be to remove the screw on the feeder. Remove the feeder, slide the halyard swivel down below the feeder, and reattach the feeder, and then you can use the basically acts as a foil system then. Both of Harkin's systems, whether it be the ESP furler or the Mark IV, are reefable systems. Another benefit of both the Mark IV and the ESP is the large drum diameter, which gives you the mechanical advantage needed when the weather conditions aren't the greatest. Both the Mark IV and ESP furling are made out of hard-coated anodized aluminum, along with a combination of injection-molded, high-strength plastic components. Both units contain a combination of high strength Torilon ball bearings in the high load areas, low load Delrin ball bearings in the lower loaded areas. Both swivels are completely made out of high strength Torilon bearings. Both ESP and Mark IV furling offer strong foil joints. Whether it be ESP, 
which is glued together with red Loctite on the stainless steel screws, or the Mark IV uses a, 50, a glue joint which is glued together with 5200 and red Loctite on the screws. So whether you're sailing in fresh water or salt water, yearly maintenance is highly recommended by Arkin. What you want to do is you want to concentrate on getting fresh water as well as like a Dawn dishwashing soap down inside the bearings, flushing it with fresh water, give it a couple spins while doing that. Harkin offers the 7404 lead block kit. This kit is going to contain five blocks. The first one being the most forward block up near the front. The other three are going to be outboard lead block kits. The last block will be a ratchet block. The benefit of having a ratchet block as the last block in the lead kit is going to be to create tension on the line as the line's going forward onto the drum, preventing any type of override that might occur on the drum. Both ESP and Mark IV furling can be wound clockwise or counterclockwise. Make sure and pay close attention to which side of the sail there might be a sun cover because it will make a difference then whether the furler is wound clockwise or counterclockwise. Once again, this is Rick Wilford from Harkins Tech Team. Feel free to give us a call anytime to discuss both options. That's what we're here for.